What's up, what's up, everybody? It's Friday morning. We got some, uh, well, some fun headlines, at least, to, uh, to affect some stocks. We're going to go over those tickers here in a little bit. But we're going to talk about the headlines. Trump to block U.S. downloads of TikTok. Uh, so it sounds like a deal not happening. Could not be good. Um, as of Sunday, it is going to be blocked unless Trump does step in. Um, I think it, it says it should be right here up top. Uh, so the U.S. Commerce said it will issue an order Friday that will bar people from the United States from downloading the Chinese-owned messaging app. It will not, however, go after the people that already have it. Uh, but should this go through, it will block new downloads and updates. You know, and, and kind of in hopes that you know it's not getting updated, people will find other ways to make 17-second uh, videos, um, singing and quoting. Um. ByteDance has been in talks with Oracle and others to create a new company, TikTok Global, that aims to address the U.S. concerns about the security of its user database. ByteDance still needs Trump's approval to st staff off the U.S. ban. Uh, so we're waiting to see on, on on Trump on that one. You know, is Trump going to come in and do anything, or is it you know full steam ahead? We're shutting this thing down. Get back on Instagram and Snapchat. That being said. Uh, I'll, I'll make sure this is on Yahoo Finance. Um, I'll make sure the link of this is in the uh, description of this video if you want to read that yourself. As far as the markets go, we're bouncing out of this zone right here. Uh, this is tech. We kind of talked about this. Now, I talked about it bouncing right out of here, but still, Friday, gap and crap, it's pretty normal, right? Like, we'll be up in the morning. Uh, your, your stocks will be up. If you're not watching the futures, you might just be surprised. <gasps> Yay, everything's up. Uh, turns out, you probably should have known that. Uh, but that being said, on tickers across the board on Fridays when it moves up like this, I put my stop loss right underneath it in the green, right it open. So if it is going to continue, then uh, then yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll keep making money. Um, but if it turns around and tags out, I'm not going to take a part. I'm not going to take part in the uh, the bleeding off. So I'll just tag out, lock in the profits, and I'll check back in later for any like weekend swings, you know, for the last hour of the day. Uh, but Fridays typically, it, lately it's just been, a, it gaps up and either just comes right back down or just kind of bleeds out all day. And uh, so it's, it's boring. But the few stocks that aren't boring, the ones involved in TikToks, so let's get to it. First of all, Oracle. Oracle. So yesterday, first of all, we opened up, tagged that zone, went zone to zone after hours, and then gave it all back. <laughs> bouncing right here again so we're already starting to recover a little bit um but let's see what what news comes out maybe there's still some hope that hey maybe trump could come in the fact is that news article kind of looks like manipulation right they came back down and said it's going to drop some headlines are we're banning tiktok and it drops it all the way down to this magical yellow box to which we bounced right out of so let's see which one we landed we're going to be probably here or here when they do announce trump's going to do or not do whatever he's whatever's going on with that so all eyes know regardless of news you guys this is how i, I trade if you were up here you're probably looking to take profits or, or scale out anyway so by the time you saw this you probably were getting out um this is why news is man if you if you're following if you found this video new and you're not a normal follower of mine uh news is almost secondary to me it, the, by the time you read that news the move's already been made, right? Um, the person didn't write that article isn't the one. That's not the source. Spread the words. And the people with money already have it. It's a common trap a lot of people fall into. They think that they got to have the news the fast as they can. They got to know all the news and they don't. And then they start chasing things and that's why they start moving. So mid zone, I wouldn't take a play right here. I would rather buy here with the stop loss right here. If I were to jump an article today, my stop loss would be 58.45 even if I got in right here. Uh, if we pushed up here and we didn't reject, we started to base out, I might even consider adding on, and then I'd probably put my stop at eh, 60.85 is where my stop would be at for that. A couple others that took a hit, actually, you know Walmart, but let's do Fastly. Fastly, TikTok is their biggest client, so this is starting to get some good news. This started to drop. This drop right here, I was. Now let's check the dates. One of these big drops was when um, Fasta was announced they were getting blocked. Or, sorry, uh, TikTok. I think it was back here. 
I think, yeah, this is the news of TikTok getting blocked. Uh, so purple zones, those are like speed bump zones, right? Like we, we might go up, we might might go down. Keep your alerts. Don't, don't panic. It could get choppy. That's why I call them a speed bump zone. Uh, it's a turbulent area. And right now, so we sold off. We found some buyers still here. So we kind of gapped up a little bit. And we're selling off some more. So this will uh, this will move depending on the on the TikTok news, just because it's their biggest client. We're watching that news really interact with this ticker as well. Uh, so keeping an eye out here. In fact, I probably wouldn't want to give it anything below seventy-eight forty-five. If it breaks that, it's probably going to come down here. You can call a high or low somewhere around here. Um, for sure, if that breaks, we're probably coming right back down here. And by for sure, I mean I'm not a uh, financial anything. Some random guy on YouTube. I'm really good at drawing yellow boxes. Sometimes they're magic. Walmart. As Walmart started to bounce out of this zone, well, Walmart's a turtle of a stock. Like, it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, anywhere fast. And ignore this right here. All right, we're going to take that off. <laughs> uh, but, so again, Walmart started to bounce out of here. News comes out, sells off, still found some buyers. Now these boxes, they're looking for buyers, they're looking for sellers. We found some buyers, got it up to here, but now we're, now we're here we are. Uh, so again, you could have got a great dip buy. If you were playing any of these three, if you want to know how I would play it, it's in every one of these zones. I wouldn't take anything middle. That's why I don't chase things. Oftentimes, I mean, my whole mentorship, guys, uh, where I go live every night before the stock market opens the next day is drawing out these yellow boxes. Sorry, these, uh, we'll say two lines or yellow boxes. You know, I'm setting alerts like, okay, if, if I'm going to buy this stock, it's going to be right here. It needs to come down here. That's where I want to be in with all the rest of the buyers. I set my alert, and I'm about to go to the golf course right now. Uh, so I'll, I'll set alerts, and when they tag, that's when I buy. 99% of my trades are from my phone because I just did the work the night before. Nothing moving, nothing messing with my emotions at all. Just make it free and clear. We're pre-market right now. Nothing's really moving that fast. Uh, so I'll end it here, guys. Hopefully, if, if you like this, hit that subscribe button if you want to want to learn more about how I trade. Um, it's Friday right now. I do go live Sunday, one hour after futures open. So thumbs up, hit the subscribe, make sure you hit that bell, and I will see you guys Sunday for the live stream.